working. It's working. Oh, all right. All right. I think it's working this time. Fingers crossed. Last time, <laughs> that coconut Wi-Fi didn't work. So this time I used two coconut Wi-Fis. So fingers crossed, we don't get a internet disconnection. You know, I'm on a deserted island. Totally not in the town. It should have working internet that went down for an hour. That only didn't happen. <laughs> anyway, welcome to the last respawn show, folks. I am your host, Danny. Yes, you can tell obviously I am stranded on a deserted island. Uh, if you're new here, check the, the, this. The, blah, blah, blah. You know, let me drink my coconut whiskey real quick, folks. Here, although a lot, a lot has happened. A lot has happened. Uh, did a recap last episode because it was a season premiere that was cut short. But you know what? We're going to move forward. We're going to move forward into the future, folks. That's what we got to do here at the last respawn show. Tonight, uh, hopefully I get to play Metal Gear Solid 3. Ironically, I started it last episode. And right after all the cutscenes and the Kodak chatting uh, ended, unfortunately, so did my internet. So hopefully, fingers crossed, knock on wood... Uh, there's some wood here. Knock, knock. Uh, everything will be okay. Uh, what else is going on tonight? Of course, I got news and reviews. My Discord chat line is always open for anybody looking to call in. And I got a fancy, cool, fun codex screen for anybody wanting to hop in there. So you just click on that Discord chat link. It'll transport you to a magical land. Uh, not a magical land magical chat line land on my discord you just gotta give me a heads up with the twitch chat that you're in there sometimes you forget the chat all right sorry about that got so much going on in this show sometimes it's and i'm just a one man one man mission that's the theme of this season out of beach heaven that's right here at the last respawn show we do different season and each season is a theme used to start with just holidays you know i used to do a halloween theme and i used to do like a little christmas theme and now we got a full-on I don't even, I don't even know what we call these, full on themes. And Out of Beach Heaven is themed towards Metal Gear Solid. Because I've been wanting to replay all the Metal Gear Solid games in canonical order. And we're starting tonight with Metal Gear Solid 3. So you didn't really miss much. You missed a couple of cutscenes in the beginning. Uh, but I'm literally right at the beginning, right off the tree. Oh, someone's got a bag of jewels. Can only be. Only be welcome, my good friend Dr. Bear, to the show. How you doing, buddy? How you doing? Hopefully things work out today. A lot better fucking internet. Literally went down for an hour. But anyway, you already know that. We are friends and we talk in, in IRL, sort of. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what else? What else? You know, I do news and reviews. Um, I did see Doctor Strange last night. I do want to do a review. I promise not to mention any spoiler stuff. I, my review will probably be brief because of that. But uh, Doctor Bear, whenever you do see it and you want want to do a little chat, I feel like like there's a lot that goes on in that movie that we could talk about or whoever wants to call it. Um, I also want to talk about the Moon Knight season finale. That was last week. I got a bunch of. <laughs> Wait, wait, what's going on with Dr. Bear? Dr. Bear is playing my stream loots cards and speaking about stream loots cards, let me see if I press this Saturday. All right, ooh, he's got a, you got a, a fun weekend plan, huh? Speaking of stream loots cards, a few more have been added. And, you know, I want to make this a recurring thing so people, you know, talk about the stream loots cards, stream loots, because they're fun, they're fun. But I, I made one here, the Breaking Bad thing. The, they got the Breaking Bad thing, so, you know, use that to your heart's intent. Uh, we got the Godzilla roar. It's pretty loud and and uh, um, Probably scared the shit out of me. I don't know. I guess you guys have the power for that one This is a new one. So unfortunately being on the desert island clothes are kind of Coming a problem So That's right. You play that card and I ripped this shirt a little how long how many rips will it last? I don't know. We'll have to keep count of that one. What else we got here? Uh that's a liquid snake quote there you got a liquid snake quote pretty good one i put together uh now this is a fun one uh we got i i did a last episode the cardboard box alert phase 
That's still a card, but now, if you want, you're, you're, you're feeling extra spicy, you feel like I need to be safe, I will play the game from within inside the cardboard box. I've tested this out, it is possible. So there are several variations of that card, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, and 30 minutes. And we got the famous Cowboy Bebop -Bee opening theme. <clears throat> and uh, this one, Sneaky, for some reason, really needed a snoring card. Give me the sound effect and all, so we got a snoring card, I guess. And oh, so this one, you're probably like, what is this? What kind of rifle do you guys have? I got this rifle here, right? And it shoots these little uh, plastic things. So I was like, what, 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 what? I'm not gonna shoot myself. I might blind myself. And you know, Twitch is, uh, I think they're kind of against the whole hurting yourself. So I'm gonna shoot the ceiling. And maybe I'll get stuck or maybe fall down. I don't know. So you got that car to experiment with. We'll see. As always, folks, let me know what you like, you don't like. Definitely listen to feedback. And I think that's it for the cards. All right. Oh, and by the way, here, Dr. Berg, for anybody watching, here's a free pack of cards. Let me put this right. There you go. Click that link. You take it to the stream loots and you get a free pack of cards on the house. Especially if you're new, all you gotta do is link your account. It's free to sign up and tons of fun. All right, so fingers crossed. Get to play some fucking Better Gear Solid 3 tonight because did not get to play it last uh, last episode on Saturday. So, you know, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. But uh, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna stop talking. We're gonna start the Metal Gear Solid franchise. There fucking leaves are everywhere. Crunch, crunch, crunch. I think these leaves are falling off. I think these leaves are falling off. You think these leaves are falling off? Should I take these leaves off? I don't know. There we go. Wrap that around here. I don't, I don't think that's working. I'm just going to leave that be. <laughs> All right. Without further ado, let's get into some Metal Gear Solid 3. Alright, so a little at the beginning of the game. Just finished watching the cutscenes and then the internet died. I don't know if this blazer is gonna work. Alright. Here we go. Let's clutch get French here. Let me see if I remember the controls. I think Metal Gear Solid uh Here's the one thing about this HD collection. See if they ever fixed it. So the PlayStation 2 buttons were pressure sensitive. I could like pull up the gun and if I slowly nope. Place some bullets too. So how do I even get out of this? I could do that, I guess. I feel like I go back to the gun. Yeah, and then you got this weird. He's doing that. That's a weird thing they couldn't fix in the HD collection with the Xbox controller. But, uh, whatever. We got a snake. Let's take that snake as a pet. Now we got a pet snake that we can, you know, you know, keep. You eat it. Put that as a distraction to my you throw those soldiers. Um oh I actually gotta do my camouflage. My camouflage plus five. We don't wanna do brown face thing. We don't wanna do we don't wanna do that. I don't wanna do that. That's not good. By the way, I do have an Alfred card in my stream loads, and this applies to Metal Gear Solid 3, uh Dr. Bear if you're listening. So you feel extra spicy and you want to dress snake up in a nice little spiffy camo outfit and we'll have to obey i wish i didn't set a timer for that so that's gonna bite me in the ass i guess we'll make the game more challenging i'm playing on the hard mode you know one of the biggest differences of hard mode is you don't get the radar um this game is gorgeous it's gorgeous it's like the hd collection God, is the is the Elgato too? Look, 
though of mine. Ah, yes, we got the alligators. These fuckers will attack you. I got some bug juice. I don't need some bug juice around here. You wanna fuck with the alligators, the crocodiles, whatever you wanna call them. See? Alrighty. Spicy boys over there. Now you don't want to hang out in this. You will sink. Okay, we got another silent attachment. Now the great bird. I am playing the. Ooh, that is not what you want! I don't want to take damage. I don't know if I even have health to heal myself. I do not. I can't even There's a beehive there. Oh, we got some bullets. All right, we're doing all right. Now, originally when this game came out, it had the fixed bird's eye view camera. And to be honest, uh, playing with that OG Metal Gear Solid 2 bird's eye view camera, what the fuck you want to call it, is really hard in this game. Yeah. It's fine in Metal Gear Solid 2, and I, I, I'm, I'm assuming Metal Gear Solid 1. I've played the original part 1 in, in forever. Ooh, we got a cat scene. Major. I've spotted two enemy soldiers. They're probably KGB troops sent to guard Sokolov. AK-47s and grenades. Snake, your presence in Soviet territory is already a violation of international law. We can't let the Kremlin find out that the CIA and the American government are involved. Contact with the enemy is strictly prohibited. Don't engage them in battle, either. This is a stealth mission. Got that? The Major is right. The point of this mission is to sneak through the jungle without being seen. The success of the mission depends on how well you use your camouflage. Change your camouflage by selecting camouflage. Yeah, I already, I already figured that out. Come on, boss. The uniform option lets you pick your uniform, while the face option lets you change your face paint. Choosing camouflage that blends in with your surroundings will help you conceal yourself more effectively. Also, don't forget that anything that moves will stand out in the jungle. If you just stand up and run around like an idiot, you're bound to be spotted. <laughs> but if you crawl instead, you should be able to sneak by without being noticed. You can see how effective your camouflage is by looking at the camo index. The camo index shows how well your current camouflage blends in with the surrounding area. I really love the camo. The higher the value, the harder you are to spot, and vice versa. Vice the versa. The key is to make yourself one with nature. Keep that in mind as you go along, okay? I got this. Guys, that. Oh, that was dope. The bird flew away because he's moving through that? That is some fucking... See which way he goes. If he goes the other way, then I should be fine. sound effects in this game get my bug juice I 
At least snake crawls so fucking fast. In this. Bird. All these birds, bro. Oh yeah, I forgot you could, uh, I don't have that? Anti-personal sensor. I got the anti-personal sensor, but you get like a mic thing? A directional mic at some point. Camouflage is good. Got the fucking riding mask. All right. And they really want me to do brown face. Roots. Gotta keep your food. Ironically, the food is mostly for stamina. You have to find health items for the help. I love the way I'm talking about this game. Like, uh, here. Uh, what's that? Oh, must be an enemy boat driving by. Everybody be quiet so they don't fucking hear me. Is that, uh, that's one weird. There's one pet peeve about this game, yes, it's constant going back and forth in the but what you can achieve with the camo just great. Just a great You have to move with the D-pad. Really slow stalking. Wanna do Now, I could put him asleep. I'm, I'm not that far from the exit. How do you guys play? Do you, do, do, do you play, you know, killing every target? Me, personally, I try to, like, stealth. Try to just get by. And if they get close like this, I, don't, I want them to fall in the grass. Falls in the grass, that's work for me. You have to time this. That you fucking do it, folks. Let's say you do it. God, I love this game. This is a top 10 game on my 10 out of 10. 10 out of oh, he is not in grass. Okay. But, uh, put a little buddy here. Take a nice little nap here, right? Oh, yeah, that's right. Shake them. Darnada. Shoot him one more time so he doesn't wake up. Then the penis should be all right. Yeah, and then here, ooh, we got something there. This the beauty of this game is like, dude, search every inch of the fucking map. Oh, thermal goggles? Fuck, let's go, bro. Let's fucking go. Oh, I do have life. I 
Fucking come over here, bro. Do it. Guess I'm seeing things. Yep, you've seen things. You've seen things, bad. Um, keep it. That moves slow. Ooh, we got two mofos. That's gonna have to camel it up a little better because we're on a 70%. You don't want 70%. You want. I don't know if I've ever achieved 100% camel. I think. I don't know if I have. Oh, it's pretty good. I'm pretty invisible. I think it's like lighting and shadows kind of thing. Doing? Hey, can you go, <laughs> this motherfucker? Oh, we got a cutscene. Old beehive trick. Boy snake smiling and shit. I don't know who has a creepier smile. Him or Batman? They're like two characters that rarely smile. I feel like Batman probably rarely smiles more. Alright. There we go. with the perfect diversion bro I could just literally run to the next area but there's a little item down here I'm gonna grab it, it might fuck me up in the long run because these fuckers will come back real <gasps> Ooh, we, we about to run off a cliff Ooh. Just what we got here. We got that. We got that. Oh, the directional mic is a fucking weapon. Well, la di da. You never know. You can take the fake death pill. I think I need a cigar. Come back here. You know, imagine just run into them right there. <laughs> Major. I've reached the abandoned factory where Sokolov is supposedly being held. This place is a dump. I can't see Sokolov from here. The security is pretty tight. There are sentries posted around the perimeter. I wonder how many are inside.
Your objective, Sokolov, is inside the factory. They should be holding him in a room in the northeast section. Northeast section. Got it. Be careful. Your mission is to bring Sokolov back alive. He must not be exposed to any kind of danger. And do not approach Sokolov while in the alert phase. Right. Oh, and one more thing, Snake. You mean there's more? No, it's just that when you get to Sokolov, I want you to tell him something from me. And that is? Sorry for being so late. Is that all? Yes. Understood. Beginning my approach to the target. Let's call the boss. Actually, we probably can't call the boss anymore. I really forget, there's a part where you can't. Back. Should talk to the boss more. Saving the game, Snake? It might as well. Fuck. Who, who the fuck knows what, what, what other what other major disaster is going to happen on this show? <laughs> fuck. Knock on wood here. Dude, dude. <laughs> My camera's still on. Shit. Snake, do you know the creature from the Black Lagoon? Nope. Never heard of it. These scientists are investigating a place deep in the Amazon called the Black Lagoon. And they get picked off one after the other by this fishman thing. And there was this scene when the heroine is going for a swim and the creature sneaks up on her from underwater. Oh, I thought my heart was going to stop. I mean, of course, the 3D effects and it came from outer space were a lot more intense, but... It wouldn't be referring to you coming from outer space, would it? Oh! How rude! Why do you say that? God damn Oh! Fine. I'll just... Ah, my man turned seat. that shit around be quick. Be careful right. of what's around you when you're in the water. Just imagining you swimming in those jungle rivers makes me think of you being attacked by a fish man. I appreciate the concern. Fishmen aren't the only things that'll attack you in the water. Really be careful out there. Okay. And don't be attacking any pretty girls going for a swim, either. <laughs> Are you calling me a fish man? You started it. These two. Alright. I think the best way is to... Left, I remember. Ooh, too close. Fix that camo. Let's fix that camo. Camo. And oh. We I gotta look up how you get 100% camo. I don't know if I ever have. Let's see, I love the, the camo system. Did you like this? Isn't that fucking wild? I kinda hate that you go in first person bushes. Is there an option to change that? I don't think there. That crouch shit? Oh man, that shit kills me every time. Camel's about to change drastically here. Yeah, definitely not rocking the Soviet Union. I don't want to rock that right now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Mm -mm. Fifty percent. Item. A shoddy. Did 
This is gonna be... There is no better camo. All right. Go for the best team. Oh, you can switch to bird's eye view with that? That's dope. I went, I went the wrong way. I'm gonna stay low. Bam, 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 bam. Shit. A lot of fucking items. You hear the sound of the bullet canister hit the ground? That's fucking amazing. Uh, um, 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 snake and a rat. One thing I heard, I learned recently from uh, you know those did you know gaming videos. I actually had David Hader, the voice of Snake, uh, narrate. Ooh, sh um, that Hideo Kojima wanted you to have like pets, rat, pet rats, and Metal Gear Solid One for some reason. That guy is a mad genius. Sometimes he's so fucking weird. I love it. Oh, oh, we're doing the Tom Cruise. Been a while for that one. Ooh, down there. <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> oh, I got some fancy little glasses here. What's what's this about? <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, these are little tiny little glasses. <laughs> Tom Cruise is here. <laughs> We're playing Metal Gear Solid Three Snake Eater. <laughs> you know, I I I've, I've always wanted to make a, a stealth movie. <laughs> you know, you know, Doctor Bear. If you go to the movies now. You will see a 15 minute preview of my new movie Top Gun Maverick. A 15 minute scene. No one asked for it, but I know you want to see it. So when you go see Doctor Stranger 2, you're going to see a 15 minute scene from Top Gun. It's amazing. <laughs> you're not going to know what's going on or what's, but you'll see me. You'll be seeing good old Tom flying around in a jet. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> We gotta be real stealthy here, guys. We gotta be real stealth. We gotta be like a ninja. We gotta be one with the shadow. <laughs> guys, moving, so we're gonna just get up. Up the ladder. Oh. Alright. Good, alright. We're doing alright. Take our time here. <laughs> you know, uh, Snake's got a nice, nice crawl to him. You know, he's, you can tell he's very, a very athletic guy. <laughs> yeah. That's all I got to say about it. <laughs> Tom Cruise. I just, that's how Tom Cruise talks, too. Like, Tom Cruise. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Ooh, ha, <laughs> Cutscene time, movie time. <laughs> I'm Todd McFarlane. <laughs> Todd McFarlane.
you must be Sokolov. Are you one of Vulcan's men? You'll never get it from me. No. I'm a CIA agent. I've come to escort you back to the other side of the Iron Curtain. Your CIA? Yeah. I was sent by Major Zero, the man who got you out two years ago. Zero? I have a message from him. What is it? He said to tell you sorry for being so late. <laughs> Did he now? What does it mean? It means he's a man of his word. But we've got no time for this. You have to get me out of here before they arrive. Along, eh, Bowser? Who's they? <laughs> Colonel Vulcan of Gru. You in the West know him as Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt? Never heard of him. He's a member of the army's extremist faction, a man who seeks to seize control of the motherland. Ever since the Cuban Missile Crisis two years ago, Khrushchev has been pursuing a policy of peaceful coexistence with the West. Despite resistance and criticism from hawks in the army and the provincial authorities, Khrushchev has managed to suppress the opposition so far. But the failure of his agricultural policies has put him in a precarious position. And on top of that, the tragedy last November. President Kennedy's assassination. Precisely. In a sense, Khrushchev has lost his biggest partner, and his power base is rapidly crumbling away. A certain group is plotting to use this opportunity to seize power by rallying the anti-government forces, overthrowing Khrushchev, and installing Brezhnev and Kosygin in his place. The mastermind behind this plot is Colonel Volgin of the Gru. He has control over another secret weapons research facility much like this one, OKB-812, known as the Granin Design Bureau, and is using it to further his plans. But that is not enough to satisfy him. Now he's plotting to seize the secret weapon I have been developing here and use it as leverage in his bid for power. The intelligence says that they are going to make their move during the test. Then, the soldiers outside. Exactly. They wouldn't need that many men just to keep me inside. Their orders were to prevent Colonel Volgin from capturing me. Even if it meant killing me in the process so it would seem. Vulcan will come. I'm sure of it. You must get me out of here before then. Leave it to me. By the way, your Russian is superb. Where did you learn to speak it? from my mentor. Is that so? America's truly a frightening country. <laughs> Having <Facts>. second thoughts? <laughs> no. I have no love for this place. Let's go. Major, this is Snake. Sokolov is safe with me. He's doing fine. No injuries. Good work, Snake. Now hurry up and get Sokolov to the recovery point. We'll rendezvous with you there. Roger. What about the sentries? No one spotted me. I see. What about the boss? We lost contact with the boss some time ago. What happened? It's probably just a weak signal. Just hurry and get Sokolov out of there.
<laughs> fucking love this. Charles Xavier will be honored. You, you're from the Ocelot unit of Spetsnaz. Huh. What's a crew soldier doing here? Soldier? He's the Ocelot commander. Heh. <laughs> That's Major Ocelot to you. And don't you forget it. Sokolov is ours. Now get out of here. An Ocelot never lets his prey escape. What? I can't say it feels good to kill a comrade, even if it is for the Gru. <gasps> Sokolov, take cover. Huh. You're not the boss, are you? What is that stance? Huh. That gun. <laughs> if you're not the boss, then die. <laughs> Another one.
rejected the first bullet by hand, didn't you? I see what you were trying to do, but testing a technique you've only heard about in the middle of battle wasn't very smart. You were asking to have your gun jam on you. Huh? Besides, I don't think you're cut out for an automatic in the first place. You tend to twist your elbow to absorb the recoil. That's more of a revolver technique. You filthy American dog! <laughs> But that was some fancy shooting. You're pretty good. Pretty good. <sighs> Major, do you read me? I read you. That, C Snake, you that right? CQC. I've run folks. into a few snags. <laughs> These guys were after Sokolov too. Apparently, they were taking orders from a Gru Colonel named Volgan. A Gru Colonel. Part of an internal Soviet power struggle, according to Sokolov. Something between the KGB and Gru, between Khrushchev's supporters and Volgans. Sokolov was being guarded by the KGB and hunted by Gru. Snake, it sounds like this could be even hotter than Cuba. I don't like it. Been out of the Cuba. The whole thing stinks. <laughs> I agree. You better hurry. Sokolov ran. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys a fun Easter egg. So, I feel like everybody's familiar with Metal Gear Solid. So this is Revolver Ocelot. You know the old guy you fight in Metal Gear Solid One. I mean he's a major character throughout the whole entire. Metal Gear Solid franchise, right? So this is the first game in the canonical storyline, right? So they put this fun little Easter egg because you're like, well, what if I just shot him, right? What, 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 what will happen? You created a time paradox, the snake. You can't go changing the future like that. Is that fucking amazing? I got what it spells out. So you can't kill him because you created a time paradox. <laughs> oh yeah, I think it spells time paradox. Do I scream Charles Xavier? Charles Xavier! I didn't really die though. Yeah, I think it just spells... I love the Metal Gear franchise. They always just have... Um... The best Easter eggs. The best Easter egg. Anything else. I mean, right now, nothing really matters. Wait. So let's get Snake spiffied up. Oh! Alright. That's, uh... That is... Let me go full screen, I guess. All right, let's play shoot myself with a water gun. You get two shots, Dr. Bear. Where or oh, where do you want me to shoot my... Oh wait, this is a real, uh... This shit is crazy. It's a real water gun, by the way. Kinda. Kinda. Buy a water gun like this. Cap gun like this, bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> Got it. All right, hurry, hurry up and tell me where you want me to shoot myself. You want me to shoot myself? I got two shots: one in the chest, one in the face. Two in the face, two in the chest. One in the crotch. Wait, what do you want, Doctor Bear? Hurry up, please. This shit is leaking so bad. Where is it leaking? Where or oh, where do you want me to shoot myself, Doctor Bear? Or should I just make the executive decision? Both in the face. You're you're a real gentleman and scholar, you know that. <laughs> Make sure I don't get shit on my computer. Also you
Thank you. Thank you. We do that next time when I when you guys play the workout cards, so I could get like a nice little cool off. <laughs> a nice little, little cool down. Um, you know what? Let's let's do some news and reviews because there's a huge long kind of cutscene about to happen. The really amazing major cutscene. You should not miss it. But let's get the news out of the reviews out of the way. As always, if you want to call in and chat with me about anything, I got a fancy Kodak screen so we could do that, right? All right, without further ado, see if I could do this. Where's my arrow thing? Do this, and do this, and boop. Hey, that came out good. All right, news and reviews times. Now you might have heard of this. You know, I wanted to cover all these news and reviews on Saturday. If for some reason you didn't hear this, apparently NASA was sending aliens uh, naked pictures of us humans. I don't know. I guess a way to entice them to come here. I don't know. Here's the article from the New York Post: NASA to launch naked pictures of humans to space in hopes of attracting aliens. NASA scientists, oh, they haven't done it. NASA scientists plan to launch pictures of naked humans in space in hopes of luring aliens to us. The depictions will also include an invitation to respond should an intelligent alien race find the space nudes. All right. Uh, okay. Virtually, the hypothetical aliens shouldn't be too shocked by the unsolicited news. The pictures aren't graphical photographs of naked humans, but a drawing of a naked man and a woman next to a deception of the DNA. I'm guessing this is the picture right here that we see on screen. That's uh, scientists revealed the image in a study that's part of a project called the Beacon in the Galaxy. The main aim of the BIT project is to send a message to any alien civilizations that could be out there. Scientists thinks the pixelated illustration of a naked man and woman waving hello could help us finally make contact with extraterrestrials. Along with the nude figures and DNA, this, the depiction, the, 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 can't read today, but geez. The scientists have also tried to depict gravity. This all adds up to becoming an updated binary code message that can be sent into space. Scientists think that a binary code message is most likely to be understood by aliens. Scientists explain to say, though, the concept of mathematics in human terms is potentially unrecognizable to an extraterrestrial intelligence. Binary is likely the universe across all intelligence. Binary is the simplest form of mathematics that is involves only two Closing states, zero, one, yes or no, black and white, mass or empty space. All right, that, now they're getting into fucking math. So yeah, NASA is sending <laughs> nudes to, to aliens in space, folks. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't think that's going to get the aliens to come up to us, folks. I don't know. You let me know in the chat what you think there about that one, because that's, that's a little nuts. So. Also, haven't aliens been visiting us? I feel like if you sent those pictures to aliens, they would be like, nah, I'm good. No, thank you. <laughs> Alright, let's see what else I got for you. Ah, the new season on Halo Infinite Star. Remember Halo Infinite, folks? Well, a new season just started Lone Wolves uh, last week. You got two maps, uh, some new modes, especially, well, I forgot the name of the damn mode, but Lone Gunner mode. Kind of a weird... I wouldn't say battle royale take it kind of feels like they're trying to do a, like a battle royale but it just came off janky to me like you, you level up the weapons you have by killing people but you only have like three lives before you're eliminated i didn't like it and you can't really join up in, in, in a party group they did add king of the hill which is always a welcome change and the two maps were all right they really didn't stand out to me um yeah i don't know i think i might uninstall Halo. i'm gonna be honest with you folks <laughs> Uh, especially if the Evil Dead game gets good reviews. Peace. Comes out Friday. Fingers crossed on that one. But another another Halo Infinite news. Uh, they're releasing uh, stuff to tie into the Halo TV show series on was it Peacock or Paramount? And I took a gander. I didn't get a picture in time of what they're releasing. That's free. I think all you have to do is log in. Uh, Starting tomorrow. It's just emblems and gun chains. Not even a fucking armor. Not even a color scheme for your armor. 
emblems and little chain two chains for your guns what the fuck three four three you started so strong and then like it's that when Halo Infinite came out I was like yeah Halo's back nope I'm just gonna download the Master Chief collection at this point right we should just go back to the Master Chief collection because you could just literally play Halo 2 old school Halo 2 old school Halo 1 Halo 3 I'm gonna do it. That's what I'm gonna fucking do it. I'm gonna take off Halo Infinite and I'm gonna put the Master Chief Collection, even though it's like a thousand gigs right now, but whatever. So, uh, what else I got for you? Moon Knight uh, ended last week, season finale. And personally, I was aware of Moon Knight as a character. Never, I never, I don't think I've ever read a comic of Moon Knight. All I knew was that he was kind of like a schizophrenic Batman, but the show really. <laughs> Educated me the fact that he's totally not that he I mean he does have the schizo thing uh, I won't go into any spoilers here for anybody that hasn't watched it, but I definitely enjoyed the series It, it, de it definitely started a little slow. It could have used Some more Moon Knight action and even though the Moon Knight action at times uh, Like I don't think they nailed the CGI look to him Sometimes like he I don't know it, it felt unfinished like when he was Mr. Knight he looked fine um but I enjoyed the series. The, the last two, the, the last few episodes. <laughs> Are you ready for Master Chief Collection? Yeah, let's fucking do it. If, if Evil Dead gets bad reviews, we're gonna download the Master Chief Collection and go back in old school. But anyway, Moon Knight. Uh, I enjoyed the series. Oscar Isaac definitely nailed it out the park. He was great performances playing two different characters. Um, honestly, everybody was pretty great in the show. Even though I felt like. Um, God, what's his face? He plays the villain. He was good, but like at the end, there was like this huge like fight scene with him, and he just kind of looked silly. Like he, he, I didn't believe him to be someone that could fight. Like to, honestly, the ending of of this series kind of came out silly. I don't want to spoil anything, but there was some silliness to it. That even though it's in the MCU, because like it dealt with such kind of real shit throughout the series, and then to end it in such a big, weird way, uh, yeah. But hopefully, you know, we get a second season. I definitely enjoy the character and the world. It's definitely a unique take. And I was actually surprised that there wasn't any major MCU cameos or connections. Apparently, the creator said that they could have done it, but they didn't want him. They wanted to do their own thing, and I'm glad they did. It definitely is a unique hero, and I look forward to more Moon Knight. Ah, on the other spectrum in the DC universe, I don't know if anybody caught this. They apparently are working on the Man Amanda Waller series for HBO Max. Uh, it's not confirmed, they're just talking about it. But it looks like they're talking to Viola Davis to headline the show as Amanda Waller. If it gets picked up, Davis will be also ex- ex- excuse, eh, ex- hold up. Excuse me, sorry. Uh, there we go. All right. Um, if it gets picked, if it gets picked up, Davis will also executive produce the series alongside the Suicide Squad writer, director, and Peacemaker creator James Gunn, who previously hinted that he was developing a second spinoff series for HBO Max. However, Gunn won't be writing the new show himself. The honor set falls to Crystal Henry, a veteran of HBO's Emmy-winning Watchmen series. Oh, all right. Who's the first? Wait, Gunn is. Not writing it? Oh, he's not writing the show. Oh, he's writing with someone. But, but, but does it have any other differences? Nope. Just goes on to talk about history. What do you folks think about an Amanda Waller spinoff series? I mean, she is... Viola Davis as Amanda Waller is pretty damn great. I don't think a lot of people talk about her, how good and cold she is. She definitely nails Amanda Waller for me. Um... There's a lot you can do with, with a Amanda Waller series, to, to be honest. You know, we, we can dive into the person to, to see what, what made her this cold, calculating, almost monster, to be honest. <laughs> who makes, who, who, who frightens supervillains, you know? And you, you could also take in the aspect that we're, we're going to see, like, her controlling teams in different parts of the DC universe. So there's a there's a lot that could be done here. Um but I also want James Gunn to kind of step away from the suicide. I mean I love the Suicide Squad movie. I love Peacemaker. Um 
maybe, maybe you know, this is what he wants to do, but I, I don't know. There is a lot that could be done with the series, so hopefully it turns into a show. We'll see. Darkman. Anybody remember Darkman? Liam Neeson's Darkman. Sam Raimi directed the first one. Well, apparently, according to Raimi, Universal is in talks to reboot Darkman. And not sure if he's going to be involved. But it sounds like Liam Neeson might come back as Darkman if the, if the script is right. And I'll be honest. After seeing Doctor Strange, after seeing Sam Raimi direct a superhero movie for the first time in years, if he could, if he would have gone back and do Darkman, fuck, that would be fucking amazing, bro. The, the first Darkman is such a weird, freaky, freaky, like it's such a weird movie. And then they had the they they had Darkman on Shutter for like a month. Uh, Try to watch the sequels. The sequels were like a different actor. It was kind of those direct DVD feeling. But yeah, I would love to see a dark movie. Let me know in the chat if you would love to see a dark man. Does anybody even know what it, who the fuck dark man is? That's dark man right there. If you, or, ah, that's a good segue. Speaking of Sam Raimi, I got to see Doctor Stranger Two: Multiverse of Madness, and I promise you right now, I won't say any spoilers. I'll keep this short and brief. To sum up my review, Doctor Stranger Two. It felt like Evil Dead and Sam Raimi Spider-Man 2 had a baby, and that was the Multiverse of Madness. I was honestly surprised that Marvel let Sam Raimi be fucking Sam Raimi. There are definitely some fucking horror elements in this fucking movie that I was shocked to see. It. There, there are some amazing camera work, some amazing moments that I, I will not dive into, I promise. But... Um, yeah, I enjoyed the flick. A part of me wants to see it again. Um, if I had any complaints, I, it definitely doesn't live up to the multiverse of madness. Uh, I felt like we could have used more multiverse, to be honest. That's all I'm going to say there. Um, cause especially if you, like, if you're going to deal with multiverses or other dimensions or whatever, you got to compete with Spider-Verse, bro. Spider-Verse was fucking amazing that shit was like wow the perfect spider movie perfect everything movie and now there's two more movies of that and, and they're gonna try to outdo it but it sounds like they're gonna have a uh, thousand uh, fucking what was it 200 characters they said for the for the sequel to spider verse anyway i digress definitely check it out um there's all the hoopla about it being too violent and all this stuff you know again i can't get into details about that i don't want to spoil anything but uh i mean i was shocked to see that kind of shit in MCU. <laughs> that's all i'll say <laughs> oh i really wish i could talk about it well we'll have to have a spoiler shot with dr bear whenever he's free because i know me and dr bear will probably freak the fuck out about some shit in this movie but uh definitely great flick didn't let me down again i feel like i could use more multiverse um yeah, um, I'm curious to see what... I, I really hope Sam Raimi directs another Doctor Strange movie. That's all I gotta say. They should love it. That, that one. So check it out. Ah, alright. Gotta bring up my phone here for this one. So does anyone remember... Neil Blumcap, the director of District 9. Um, made so many fucking Muchappi. Apparently Neil Blumcap is making a, a video game called off the grid here's the first screenshot right there uh it's apparently to be confirmed cyberpunk battle royale 2.0 with a unique focus on narrative uh there's a short cinematic trailer for the game to be honest i looked at it it's barely it's just it barely shows you shit so i didn't really you want to go look at it look at look it up it's not i mean i don't really see much but um I mean, this is a screenshot from the trailer right here. Uh, notice there's a player of the cinema also teases the setting for Off the Grid, the trailer. Uh, okay, we're explaining the trailer in this article. Okay. In the description of Off the Grid, Godzilla Games confirms that the game is a cyberpunk battle royale. It also confirms to be a third person multiplayer shooter rather than a first person shooter. Other details that make Off the Grid a battle royale 2.0 experience are its 150 player total per match as well as a pve narrative driven story missions that happen in real time 
To clear how exactly these PvE story missions in the middle of a massive PvP battle royale will impact each each match's gameplay flow, but off the grid clearly attempting something unique, exciting, and bringing Blumka as well as Crisis 2 lead direct lead writer Richard K. Moore shows blah blah blah. What do you folks think about off the grid? Does anybody even care about battle royale anymore? You know, poor poor Neo Blumcalf. I feel like this guy cannot cast a break. He was attached to make a sequel to Aliens. His sequel was going to take place between Aliens and Alien 3. It was going to be like a soft reboot. See, you know, Sonoga Reaver was attached to come back. The guy who played Hicks was attached to come back. The, the girl who was playing Newt in Alien, Aliens was supposed to come back. There's still famous artwork of what that movie was supposed to look like. It looked fucking amazing, and it didn't happen because Ridley Scott came in and, and flopped. Anyway, <laughs> it's just cock blocked Neil Blumkov from from making that movie. So Neil Blumkov was attached to make a RoboCop sequel. It was going to be a, a true RoboCop sequel to the original films, and again, that didn't work out. And now, I think the last interview I read with Neil Blumkov, he does not want to touch any major franchise. So it's kind of ironic now he wants to touch on a major gaming, uh, would you say franchise or? Uh, Whatever the fuck you call it. I don't know. I don't know, Neil. I don't I don't know if anybody wants Battle Royale. It, it sounds very interesting. It looks interesting. I, I wish you all the best. And maybe we'll see more change my mind. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, this is a hell of a segue. So another weird game, Warped Kart Racers, got announced. And before anybody gets too excited, I just want to bring this up to make sure. I don't think this is coming out to consoles. Uh, so it's going to feature the likes of Peter Griffin, Hank Hill, uh, those little aliens. This is only coming to Apple Arcade subscription service for iOS devices. Uh, Hank Hill, Solar Opposites, that's the other show. The tracks will be based off the show, blah, blah, blah. Mobile racing, blah, blah, blah. I don't know why other games try to attempt at kart racing. Has there ever been a game, a kart racer, that's been better than Mario Kart? I mean, I feel like some people will say Crash Bandicoot. Is that, like, is that better? I don't know. Mario Kart is pretty fucking perfect, bro. And this just feels like a gimmick. I mean, maybe it'll be good. I don't know, but it's only coming to iOS devices. So, I don't know that. All right, that was my news and reviews. As always, folks, if there's any news or reviews you would like me to cover, let me know in the chat in the comments below or message me on any of my social medias. I actually do have a legendary card I added to Stream Loots, where if you play it, I have to go. I have to review a game or movie of your choice. You know, as long as I don't have to go to the theater. I, that was one of the things. I had to go to... I tried to go to the most least packed theater for Doctor Strange uh, 2 there and uh, it was as packed but man so many people coughing <laughs> like I was just like oh, oh, oh. Yeah, let me get my water bottle plastic bottle of whiskey John and all over me kill the germs <laughs> alright we're gonna go back into Metal Gear so get, get a bucket of popcorn because we're about to experience a fucking cutscene right here folks you're about to if you haven't if you haven't this is a great moment in this game that's all i'm gonna say that's all i'm gonna say take me to the game all right oh my god to my god is just like ah, i'm just gonna take a nap here take a nap or sleep. Alright. Well, if we're gonna put on your snake, we're gonna put something cool on you, or we're gonna put a uh, put some tiger stripe on you. I don't want no tiger stripe. We're gonna put you on black outfit. On, we're gonna put you on what's this? You on that camel shit? Oh, we're gonna put you on that. Nah, we're gonna put you on that leaf shit. But that tiger strike. Tiger strike. Yeah, whatever the fuck. Alright, 
All right, let's activate movie mode. You okay? Those men were from the Ocelot unit, Spetsnaz. Yes. The best crew has to offer. They're coming for me. I'm finished. Calm down. I'll get you out of here, I promise. And we've got some of the best backup we could ask for. Look. That's what they were making you build. Yes. The Shagahod. The treading behemoth. A tank capable of launching nuclear IRBM. It can launch nuclear missiles from that kind of terrain? Oh, yes. And without support from friendly units. A nuclear-equipped tank capable of operating solo. Is that thing finished? No. This is only the end of Phase 1. It won't be truly finished until we complete Phase 2. Phase 2? The weapon's true form. If it is completed and the Colonel gets his hands on it, it will mean the end of the Cold War. The end of the Cold War? Yes. And then the Age of Fear will truly begin. A world war. I had no choice but to cooperate. I didn't want to die. I wanted to see my wife and child again in America. Please, take me to America, quickly. They cannot complete it without my help. Got it. Let's go. Good work, Jack. Let us fight together again. I have waited long for this day. We will fight with you once more. Welcome back, boss. Now that all five of us are together, it's time we go to the depths of hell itself. It's raining blood. Is he crying? Kuabara, Kuabara. Ah, what a joyful scene. Colonel Vogan. Welcome to my country. And to my unit. What is this? I'm defecting to the Soviet Union. 
Sokolov is a little gift for my new hosts. Recoilless nuclear warheads. These will make a fine gift for me. This can't be happening. Who is he? Another one of your disciples? Are we taking him with us? No, this one is still just a child. Too pure for us Cobras. He has not yet found an emotion to carry into battle. What are you talking about? Think you can pull the trigger? This, did this stream disconnect? Oh, I'm fucking believable, bro. What the fuck? He's seen my face. Uh, I, can't I, let him live. I literally, I, I like ran to the bed. No, 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 no. If Khrushchev finds out about this, we're finished. Die. I had a random cat attack coming in here. Goddamn. Wait. He's my apprentice. I'll take care of him. <clears throat> Jack, you can't come with us. I mean, he's like a chill cat. But like, a clumsy cat. I got too many cables in here. I don't know how you open the door. <laughs> Fucking, I don't. What is with this internet? Is everything looking good and sounding good so far, Dr. Bo? The new blood has been rejected. Thank you, buddy. Are we done here? Now, on to Sokolov's research facility. Shagohad is ours. I'm Todd McFarlane. <laughs> Drift away. I was supposed to see, I died there, right? Charles Xavier. I mean, My place is within made it die. My frames are dropping now? What the fuck? <sighs> you know, with my luck, this computer's probably dying. Dr. Bear, how I wish I could watch Doctor Streams with you. You're gonna have fun with it. Snake, can you hear me? Yeah, just barely. Snake. Listen to me, you need emergency medical treatment. Can you move? You've got to get those wounds treated. Hang in there. All right, let's get you fixed up. Paramedic? Okay, Snake. Just relax and it'll all be over before you know it. Stay with me. I've seen people in worse shape before. Think you can handle it? Major. Yeah, sure. Infected. What you thinking? We'll talk about that later. First, we've got to get you patched up. Okay, here we go. 
First, open the survival viewer with the start button. If you select cure, you can start the treatment. Healing is divided into treatment using medicine with the item window button and surgical treatment using the weapon window button. Your injuries include a fractured left elbow and rib bone and lacerations Move the healing cursor with the left stick to the affected part of your body. Once you've selected the affected area, hold the weapon window button and use the yeah, left stick that. to select the medical item and then press the inner button. With this method, you can use items to help your recovery process. What's she with that chemo, Lindsay? To treat a bone fracture, first secure the affected area with a fastener and then wrap it in bandages. That should do it. For lacerations, you'll need disinfectant for Master to Chief clean collection the wound, if you want to fuck with that. to stitch it up. Styptic to slow the flow of blood and bandage. All right, yeah, I already know what to do here. <laughs> he just, he just laying there. <laughs> He's just laying. <laughs> He's just like, oh fuck! Hey, there's a skeleton over there. <laughs> uh, well, I was hoping to play before Joe Bob during the day. Obviously, you know, watching Joe Bob. Yeah. <laughs> Holy fuck! All right, where do we fuck? Uh, we got a deep cut. All right. Uh, disinfect that. Bandage stitches. What else do we need? Bandages. Bandages. Okay. For what? For Friday? During the day? Cut. Uh, I love that you can put this in any order. It doesn't fucking matter. Just that, throw that, throw that, throw that, whatever. Cut. That, that, that. Alright. Bone fracture. Alright. Uh, uh, do this. Go. Yeah, yeah, like I'm down. Uh, like I'm, I have, I've saved money. Like I have money for it. They're, they're, like, if it's good, I'll give Sneaky the money so he can get it, and we both got it. We all, we all need a new game to play. What did I do? Ah, shit. That ointment. Back to put that bone fracture. All right. God damn, you got fucked up, Sneaky. Friday, Friday I know, man. When the fuck are the reviews coming out? They gotta come out. I really hope they come out. I don't. I don't like buying games without reviews, bro. Uh, Yeah, I mean, job, some. Snake. We're coming to get you now. been playing Just the game for previews we'll for a while. A recovery balloon. Can you set it up? Damn, you want me to set up a balloon too? Oh yeah, so there's a dead body here, and I'll touch. I'll touch upon that. And it's, it's actually like a, a a very important character. Oh yeah, you kind of saw him. It's the what is it? The end. The sorrow. That you saw on the bridge, the guy that's crying, that was his body. Metal Gear. Oh, yeah. Shagger Hunt. <laughs> Before Metal Gear, they just called the Shagger Hunt.
I warned you this is a beefy cutscene. <laughs> Little girl got cutscenes. I love them. and her cobras I have both Sokolov and the Shagohad what are we going to do with the girl who is she apparently she's Sokolov's woman Fast, my dear. A kiss of death. Are you KGB. We may be able to use her. Take her back to the base. Perhaps we should. We have no further use for Sokolov's research facility. I think it's time I gave this marvelous new toy what? a try. Colonel, even if they are our enemies, they're still our countrymen. But it won't be me that pulled the trigger. It'll be our friend, the American defector. You're going to nuke your fellow Russians? <laughs> the Alamo. Colonel! Yeah, I don't think you should look at that snake. <laughs> He's probably got the whole cancer now. That's how he actually died. Maybe that nuclear bomb gave snake snake powers. Silence through the night What a thrill I'm searching and I'll melt into you What a fear in my heart But you're so supreme In my time, there'll be no one else. Crime, it's the way I fly to you. I'm still in a dream, snake eater. 
Yeah, welcome. <laughs> <laughs> that song is... That song slaps. I don't give a fuck what anybody says. That song is the greatest video game song, in my opinion. That song is like... Currently flying I karaoke that ocean, song. Altitude 30,000 feet. Approaching Soviet airspace. Ooh. Arriving at the designated drone that was a fucking point. workout. <laughs> drone oil pressure and voltage are nominal. Uh. Payload oxygen supply is nominal. Power supply to payload right 83 back. system shows no problems. No gusts. All systems go for drone detachment. Snake, we can't risk a halo jump this time around. Airspace security has gotten tighter since we were last here. We can't get as close to the ground as we did during the Virtuous mission. So instead, we'll be using one of our newest weapons. Snake, you're being given an honor on par with Alan Shepard. This is our last chance. Show your patriotism. If you fail, you'll be back in a hospital bed again, waiting for the firing squad. So how does it feel to be a patient in one of the most advanced ICUs in the world? Would you do me a favor and tell the suits about visiting hours? I'll never get better with them assaulting me day and night with their questions. Must be part of the top brass's inquiry. More like an interrogation. According to them, I'm a traitor and an accomplice to the boss's defection. They're just looking for a scapegoat. Does that mean they're after you, too? Hmm. Let's just say neither one of us is going to be made a national hero out of this. Does this mean Fox is going to die? No. This Fox is still one step ahead of the hounds. The reason I came to see you today... Jack, it's time for Fox to clear its name. What are you talking about? The situation has changed. We still got a chance to come out of this one alive. Like, I, yo, I know you, you got fucked up and you saw a nuclear bomb, but we need you to go, go, go back yeah. in the jungle. <laughs> Have a cigar. It's Cuba. Good Christ. This morning, I had a meeting with the CIA. They decided when they're going to execute us? No. Something even bigger. Yesterday, the White House received an unexpected call. President Johnson? Yes, I hear you, Mr. Chairman. It was a hotline call from Khrushchev to President Johnson. From the head of the Soviet Union? That's right. A few days ago, one of our country's main design bureaus, okay, B-754, was destroyed in a nuclear explosion. At about the same time, our anti-aircraft radar picked up a signature that appeared to come from one of your military aircraft. Does any of this sound familiar to you? Nabi. Nah, In retaliation, I have placed our armed forces on secondary alert. Depending on your response, I may be left with no choice but to order the military to maximum alert and unleash Armageddon. With the help of your predecessor, I was no, able I to Armageddon with Bruce Willis. the Cuban incident. But my power is not as great as it once was. If I am to survive this crisis, I must have your full cooperation. 
I should have contacted you myself. Did you know that one of our soldiers defected to your country a week ago? No. So you haven't heard then? The man who arranged the defection was a Gru colonel by the name of Yevgeny Borosovich Volgin. Volgin? Volgin. faction. Go on. Who is the soldier? Her name is the boss. She's a living legend. During World War II, she was the one who led us to victory in that war. They really need to make a game of that. I want to play that game. Voyevoda. You mean the boss? The boss. The mother of your special forces? Yes, that's the one. And she took two miniature nuclear shells along with her. The boss took two miniature nuclear shells. I'm afraid so. I believe they were a gift for her new hosts. The Davy Crockett Atomic Battle Group delivery system was completed two years ago. But serious problems were found with the launcher's range and precision. Although they were mass-produced, they've never been deployed in battle. But Sokolov's research facility was completely wiped out. The whole area is polluted. I can only offer you my deepest condolences over this terrible <laughs> tragedy. <laughs> Fucking so thoughts of prayers. Let me give you some thoughts of prayers on that, bro. And took them with her as gift when she defected. Then, shortly thereafter, Sokolov's design lab, a top secret military research facility, was destroyed by one of these weapons. Am I right so far? Yes, that's correct. And the American government denies any involvement in the affair. Is that right as well? That's correct. We were not involved in any way. Then what was a U.S. military aircraft doing on our radar screen? It was clearly in a violation of our airspace. And yet you say it was not acting under your orders. That's correct. You expect me to believe that this was all the work of a single soldier? I don't know what else to tell you. The army insists that this is all a ploy on your part. I've said it once and I'll say it again. Our government had nothing to do with it. And I would like dearly to believe you. However, I'm afraid my power over the military has weakened since the Cuban incident. I will need some kind of proof that this was not the action of the American government. You have one week. You must catch the boss yourselves and recover the remaining nuclear device. Then you must find some way to prove your innocence. Prove our innocence? Yes, preferably something painful. Prove to me that this is not merely another one of your tricks. The tricks! The boss should be close to Colonel Volgan. How about a little co-action? I would not expect too much if I were you. The political situation here is unstable. And Colonel Volkin is a member of the Brezhnev faction, which seeks to topple my government. One week. You have only one week. And if it is not too much to ask, do something about Volkin as well. What is that supposed to mean? Nothing means nothing. Call it a modest gentleman's agreement to ensure our continued relationship. What if we can't prove our innocence? Then I will be unable to restrain the military. I will be ousted, and they will seek their revenge. A nuclear attack on the United States? I leave the disposal of this situation entirely to your discretion, Mr. President. Disposal? If you fail, it will mean the beginning of a new world war. Put it simply, in order to avoid a full-scale nuclear conflict, we have to prove that America was not involved in that explosion. And eliminating the boss ourselves will prove America's innocence? Right. The higher-ups have decided that you're the only one capable of pulling this off. You were her last apprentice. Screw this one up, and we'll both be six feet under. There's no choice. Are the Russians going to be helping us? 
KGB has promised to lend us one of their communications satellites so that you and I can talk to each other. That's it? They've also put us in touch with a couple of insiders. Insiders? There was a defection in September 1960. Do you remember it? You mean the two NSA codebreakers who went over to the Soviet Union? Precisely. Since then, they've apparently been training with the KGB in exactly this kind of situation. Their code names are Adam and Eva. I've been told <laughs> that Adam has infiltrated Volgin's ranks. We've also arranged for him to provide you with an escape route. You'll need to rendezvous with him when you get there. Unidentified aircraft detected, altitude 30,000 feet. It's fast. Estimated airspeed exceeding Mach 3. Bearing south. I'm about to lose it. Nice landing snake. But yeah, he's got the bandana now, folks. A oh boy, the Dana Bros. <laughs> Dana, banana. The same banana, banana, banana. This is Snake. Do you read me? Loud and clear. Glad to see you landed safely. I got blown pretty far off target. Snake, let's go over your mission objectives one more time. Rescue Sokolov. Find out what's happened to the Shagahod, then destroy it. And finally, eliminate the boss. Eliminate the boss? This mission will be codenamed Operation Snake Eater. Because I'll be taking on the boss in our Cobra unit, right? Don't forget about Colonel Volgin. I'm not a hired killer. I know, but that was the Kremlin's demand. Demand? You mean it wasn't just a request? What's it to us if the Khrushchev regime is threatened by the Colonel and his faction? If supporting the current regime helps us avoid a nuclear exchange, then that's what we'll do. And what are the CIA's demands? Our priorities are the rescue of Sokolov and the destruction of the Shagahod. Roger that, Major Tom. Hold on, Snake. What now? I'm changing my code name. It turns out Tom wasn't the most auspicious choice. What do you mean? Well, the truth is, when I chose my code name, I picked the wrong one. The wrong one? Did you ever see the movie The Great Escape? It came out last year. I must have missed that one. Anyway, it's based on a true story about prisoners who escaped from a POW camp in Nazi Germany. The prisoners dig three tunnels as part of their plan, but the Nazis find two of the tunnels before they're finished. The prisoners succeed in escaping by using the last remaining tunnel. The names of those three tunnels were Dick, Harry, and Tom. I get it. You used the name of the tunnel they escaped in as your code name because you thought it would bring you good luck. Yes, that's exactly right. At least, that was the plan. But? But I got the name wrong. The one they escaped in was Harry. Tom was one of Harry. the unlucky tunnels. It was discovered by the Nazis before it was finished. I watched the movie again just to make sure. In fact, I even ordered the actual film from the movie company. Yeah, it doesn't sound like the greatest name to use. So what should I call you? Hmm. You know, let's just use Zero, like we've been doing all along. All right, then. Major Zero it is. We'll start over from square one. From square zero? 
My uh -huh. frequency is 140.85. Oh, I almost forgot. Paramedic is with us again on this mission. Is this her last chance, too? If we fail, she'll have her medical license revoked. It's more or less the same kind of fate. Her frequency is the same as during the Virtuous mission, 145.73. She'll be recording your mission data as well, just like the last time. That frequency is also the same, 140.96. And there's one more person on your support team. His name is Mr. Sigint. He's an expert on the latest in weapons and equipment technology. You'll be going up against some of the world's most advanced weaponry when you infiltrate the research facility. If you have any questions, just ask him. His frequency is 148.41. Mr. Sigint, got it. Adam, your KGB contact, is waiting for you at the abandoned factory up ahead. The same factory Sokolov was being held in last week. Yes, meet up with Adam first. He's cleared the way for you to rescue Sokolov. How will I know this Adam guy when I see him? You'll know once you reach the factory. The whole area's been polluted by the fallout from that nuclear blast. No one else would dare come close. The password is Who are the Patriots? Uh. And Lali Lule Lo. Lali Lule Lo. Gotcha. You've been equipped with a 45 for this mission. Be careful, it's noisy. I thought standard Fox procedure was procure on-site weapons acquisition. The circumstances are different this time. You're now on an official mission for the United States government. It would be necessary to make your presence known to a certain extent, to the Khrushchev regime at the very least. But remember, this is still a sneaking mission. Snake, if you fail this mission, it will mean an all-out nuclear war. Keep that in mind and proceed with extreme caution. <laughs> Understood. Commencing operation. Yeah, no, no fucking pressure. Oh yeah, you gonna make yourself a sandwich? What kind of sandwich you gonna make there, Doctor Bear? Hoo hoo! I was gonna make himself a sandwich over here. <laughs> hey. Wait, the collector ones. Mommy and cheese, oh wee. <laughs> Make that sandwich, boy. Snakes. Get my food here. Else over here, nothing. Can't eat the butterflies. I ever get those cheese things? <laughs> I actually got them yesterday because I was like, I was gonna take an edible for Doctor Strange. And I was like, after I come home from that, I'm gonna be so fucking high, I need those. So yes, I got my cheese sticks. Those fucking things slap so hard, bro. Holy fuck. I, 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 got to, I should've took a picture. Next time I order them, I'm gonna take a picture. It's, they're just... They're so good. I, I, I can feel them clog my cholesterol, though. Like, <laughs> clog my arteries. <laughs> oh yeah, with that marinara sauce. But, but these fuckers give you like the tiniest cup for the biggest, thickest cheese sticks. Like I, I, I always forget I have to tell them like, yo, give me more. Like, you have to like give me this little fucking the, the, the cheese sticks barely fit in that shit, bro. It's almost barely enough for all of them. You guys running out of fucking marinara over there? Shit. Like I'm talking to them. Hey, you fucking running out of marinara over there? So stupid. Every time there was a pizza spot that gave us ketchup, like a, a dipping thing with ketchup with the pizza. We didn't ask for it. It was just in the box with the pizza. They, they do, yeah, they just, they just, I don't know. They're gonna save money. How many fucking snakes? Oh, I, I think this, the spot that gave the ketchup is like a, a front for like a drug or something, because like, now that now they they swear that they're, that they're the home of the big slice and a part of me wants to 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 go and, and check to see if they really are the home of the big slice but you know especially come from the bronx that where that that's you know westchester square Oof. or you were telling me the other spot had a big slice over there in the bronx all right we got one more cutscene then we i could fucking play for for a few minutes <laughs> Fucking Metal Gear games, I love them. I 
Come here, horsey. I actually ran to use the bathroom when the stream disconnected while the cutscene. Looks like death wasn't ready for you yet. By the way, should I take away the subtitles? Boss. That arm still hurt? What are you doing here? Too late. Oh, she just takes guns apart. I fucking love that. Go home. Go home. Gru and my sons are waiting up ahead. You don't have a prayer of finishing your mission. You're not even armed. nothing for you here go home go back to your boss there's no need to prove that you are virtuous here this isn't America just flings out the bullets <laughs> kind of amazing things up a bit you'd better hurry Zara yeah that guy we saw his body down by the, by the river you ought to be able to run that far why'd you defect I didn't I'm loyal to the end, to my purpose. What about you, Jack? What's it going to be? Loyalty to your country or loyalty to me? Your country or your old mentor? The mission or your beliefs? Your duty to your unit or your personal feelings? You don't know the truth yet. But sooner or later, you'll have to choose. I don't expect you to forgive me. But you can't defeat me either. You know me too well. Just look at that bandana. If you can't put the past behind you, you won't survive long. Ooh. If we meet again, I'll kill you. Now, go home. <laughs> Better call your boss. Complain. This is Snake. Major Zero. I read you, Snake. I was ambushed by the boss. You were what? The drone's been shot to hell. It's up in flames. That's not good. Enemy scouts are going to come looking for you. Yeah, I know. But what was the boss doing here in the first place? There's got to be a leak somewhere. No, that's impossible. The man the boss is working with, Volgin, isn't exactly on speaking terms with Khrushchev. I lost my gun. The boss destroyed it. Snake, I know how you're feeling. It's hard for me to believe, too, that a legendary hero like the boss would go over to the Russians that she'd double-cross us like this. But that's how it is, and if you don't accept it, you'll never be able to beat her. That's not the problem. In terms of sheer technique, I'll never be able to beat her. I know that all too well. You've got to do it, Snake. She's your enemy and your objective. Enemy? We were together for ten years, and now you tell me she's my enemy? Enough. Hurry to the factory where... Enough. <laughs> Scouts have probably already been sent out to investigate the explosion. 
You've lost your weapon, right? That means you've got no chance of winning in a battle situation. Whatever you do, don't let them see you. Cool, thanks, bro. Oh boy, they didn't see me. Oh no, snake. Can't do that. Do that. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. How's that? I don't know if I've ever gone 100. I know I keep saying this, but I gotta figure out how to do 100 camo. Alright, I have a stun grenade. Should shit get crazy. What the hell is this? Guys. HQ, HQ. Didn't I, didn't I kill the snake? Please tell me I killed the snake. I'll throw food at them. <laughs> I'll throw fucking food at them. Patrol here. We have evidence of an enemy intruder. Commence alert formation. Acknowledged. Sending reinforcements. Use extra caution. Ah oh, shit! Oh my god! I forget. At a certain point, they get dogs. The dog. Uh, I don't think it's anything. Ah oh, shit! I hate that you go in first person in the grass. Why was that a, a decision? Like, oh, you can't see in the grass. Oh, because you can't see because you're in the grass. I see what you did there, Hideo Kojimas. Shit. Ooh. Damn, motherfucker, they right there. Sure. Be very, very sneaky. Crawly, crawly, crawl. Doing good. Doing fucking good right now. That caution shit goes on for fucking five hours. Like I can't see over there. Let me look at the fucking binoculars. Uh, three guards, one's going across. All right. Fortunately, I don't have a gun, so I can't really be high a trick. HQ, HQ. This is HQ. Patrol here. This is HQ. I don't know. Oh, snake. You're gonna get cancelled, snake. You're gonna camp. Oh, got 95 with that shit, though. No problems detected. Understood. Return to your position. So you gotta cover yourself in some predator mud shit to get 100.
Ooh, he's turning. I just changed my camel mid mid sneak like you know. Hey guys, okay. Who answer speak. me? There are guys who know alert cancellation frequencies. Oh, that's good to know. Do, are you one of those guys? Bastard. Hmm. Answer me. There are guys who know alert cancellation frequencies. Who speak? Bastard. <sighs> No, buddy, I'm gonna have to kill you for a lot of reasons. Really didn't want to do it. But, yeah, I could knock you out, but like, when he wakes up, he's calling alert, and I gotta sneak by two guys. Yeah, we're gonna have to play this smart, buddy. Sorry. Have a good day. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's how it works. Bye. <laughs> what the fuck was that fall? Right. One guy on the left. Where's the other guy? Oof. Shit, how do you get up? Turn oh, God. I, I, I was like, I don't remember the fucking what button you press. In doubt, crawl. This should not work. Wait. I can make myself more uh, in 95 here. We got, ooh, we got a desert tiger. All right. That'll make sense to me. Boy, you better fucking. Ooh, we getting close. Ooh. I'm falling down there. Falling down there. We're going to be best buddies. Best of buddy. More. Huh? Speak. Listening to the radio can be relaxing. Uh huh. Speak. Let go of me. Speak. Listening to the radio. Right. You guys just uh, repeat the same shit. You only tell me one good thing, huh? Speak. Let go of me. Oh. I mean, I can oh. let go of you. <laughs> you don't, you're not gonna put it like where you land. Go 
doing I'm doing well, doing well. I'm actually surprised how how good I'm doing right now. Will I say I'm good at this game, maybe? I got, I got those Metal Gears, you know. Dang, you know, I got them Metal Gears. <laughs> I got them Metal Gears. I don't know what the fuck that means. You got a new camel? Is that what? what? They found like new camels in this shit. Yeah, It is quiet as hell. Hold up. Yes. Nobody? I don't like it. Oh, snake. Oh. Might be a trip. Grab any items. Hey, we got an AK. That's something. Put that in the old backpack there. Got AK, right? And we don't, we don't need that. Yeah. Down to here. Got down here. Got a rat. Snake. We got nothing. Do 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 da nothing. Those words I just said. Those are words. Ooh. We got the face zombie? Let me rock that shit. Let's go. Hmm. Oh, hell yeah. We're fucking going Punisher style on this bitch. Man, Snake's a juggalo. My bug juice. A lot of bugs out here. I want those bugs. Oh, hello. Oh, that's why I wanted to happen. Ah, shit! We got the box, folks. I mean, I don't know if that shit's gonna really fly in the. All right, well, we are just finding everything right now. By any hello. Maybe I, maybe I just lay on the bed here. Hold up, just lay in the bed over here. Wait. There we go. <laughs> just lay in the bed here. Wait. Can't hide in that locker. Uh oh. It's your favorite. me 
down. Kind of plays sexy music when she comes. <laughs> no snake. We're, we're gonna look. Her, we're gonna look at her eyes, snake. Snake, no. Snake, snake. No, don't do it. <laughs> God damn, bro. <laughs> fucking snake, bro. This wasn't part of the plan. What happened to Adam? What's your code name? It's Snake. Snake, huh? Well, I'm Eva. Are you here to tempt me? What happened to Adam? Colonel Volgan is a very suspicious man. He decided Adam wasn't the right person for this mission. And you were? Yes. Why? Because I can do things he can't. I heard you used to be a codebreaker for the NSA. I was. Four years ago, I defected to the Soviet Union with Adam. Mauser military. The broom handle. It packs quite a punch. Nice to have when you're on a bike. You held it sideways and used the muzzle jump to create a horizontal sweep. That was impressive. Bet you've never seen that technique in the West. It's imitation, isn't it? Yeah. It's a Chinese Type 17 pistol. Around here, even that's hard to come by. Don't worry, though. The one I've got for you is American-made. Forty-five, huh? Hmm. Incredible. Do you like it? The feeding ramp is polished to a mirror sheen. The slide's been reinforced. And the interlock with the frame is tightened for added precision. The sight system is original, too. The thumb safety is extended to make it easier on the finger. A long type trigger with non-slip grooves. A ring hammer. The base of the trigger guard's been filed down for a higher grip. And not only that, nearly every part of this gun has been expertly crafted and customized. Where'd you get something like this? I grabbed it from a Western munitions armory. It probably used to belong to one of your officers, and there are more where that came from. You had this with you, didn't you? Better take this too. What's that? A disguise to make you look like a scientist. A disguise? Yes. You're here to rescue Sokolov, right? Sokolov's still safe then? Yes. He's being forced to continue his work on the Shagohat. Where? At the lab. They've got a whole army of scientists there developing new weapons. Security is tight, but if you disguise yourself as a scientist, you might be able to sneak in. Can we get Sokolov out of there? We'll see, won't we? Tell me how to get to the lab. The safest way in is from the rear. First, you'll need to head north through the jungle. You'll come to a heliport used for shipping materials. 
Pass the heliport and continue north and there will be a large crevice. Descend into that area and you'll reach a cave. Move through the cave and you will arrive at a mangrove swamp. After the swamp, there'll be a warehouse. Make your way through the warehouse and you'll come out just south of the lab. Got it. And just what are you doing there? <laughs> In close range combat, a knife can sometimes be more useful than a gun. By doing this, I'll be able to hold a knife at the same time and still keep the gun steady. That way, I can instantly switch between a gun battle and a knife fight. Right, let's get going. Wait a minute. What now? You must be tired. Why don't you take a little rest? I'll be fine. You'll never make it in your condition. It's a jungle out there. There's still an hour before dawn. It's dangerous to be out in the jungle at night without a guide. What about you? I have to get back. I can't be gone for too long. They'll start to suspect something. Don't worry. I'll keep you updated over the radio. That's it? My orders are to provide you with information. Nothing more. You look disappointed. All right, then. I'll do something special for you. I'll stand watch until dawn. Now be a good boy and lie down. What's the matter? I don't know you well enough to trust you. How well do you have to know me to trust me? I don't know if I can trust anybody. Gonna get that? She's right, Snake. You should get some sleep. Although, in your condition, you really ought to be back in the ICU. Whenever you save the game and quit, you'll go to sleep. Sleeping allows you to gain back stamina naturally. Depending on how long you sleep, you may also recover naturally from sickness and injury. When you're tired or hurt, the best thing to do is just get some sleep. So do yourself a favor and take a nap. Doctor's orders, okay? Yeah, okay. Oh, that shit on mute. Good little time to take a little break here. How many cutscenes are in the beginning? God damn. <laughs> ah, shit. Is it gonna keep going if I save it? Okay, no. Did it stop? Nope. It. Oops. We're going, we're going back real quick. I can't pause the fucking cutscene. This dude. What's the matter? We're surrounded. I see four of them. We've got company. It's the Ocelot unit. <laughs> he says, this guy. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Hurry. Don't forget your gear. Here, give me a hand. We 
can use this to get to the basement. Damn it! That's a lot. I'll get past them on my bike. I'll call you later. Okay. I'll keep them busy. Huh? Don't go dying on me now. Alright. Try this again. And Yahtzee. Alright. Good stopping point right here to take a little break. I take a leak and make another coconut whiskey drink. How you folks doing? How you hanging? What you think about Metal Gear? Sure there's a lot of cutscenes. I dig them, to be honest. I mean part part of me wants to just get into the gameplay. Gameplay is just just great. I, I don't know how to explain it. E everything just about this game, the way it's designed, the way the look, the sound, the feel of it, just his outfit, every every everything he does with his outfit, I'm just like, I want that tactical. It makes me want to get all fucking stealth attack. Am I is this all I'm like in an angle. Yeah, I'm like in a weird angle, I don't know. Anyway, um just this camera it must be disconnected. Hey, is that better? Is that worse? I'm gonna do. I was gonna say this game looks phenomenal. I know this is the HD collection by uh, Blue, Blue Blue Point Games, I believe. Um, but if you were to go back and play the PlayStation Two version of it, just the art style alone, like these Metal Gear games look phenomenal. I don't think we really need a remake. There's been rumors of a Metal Gear Solid Three remake and a two, and if Hideo Kojima's not involved, I don't care. Don't. Don't fucking, don't touch these. They don't need to be touched. Uh, and honestly, I'm scared of fucking remakes or remasters, you know, after the GTA Definitive Edition, which, uh, so disappointing. Um, but yeah, this still, up, still upholds to me, folks. It, it's going to be interesting going through all these Metal Gear games. I mean, I feel like I touch on three and two a lot. Like I've, I've in the past, I've tried to play it on the show. I know I, I try to play I think Metal Gear Solid 2 all in one day or two days for you, and that didn't really work out. So, um, yeah, I really want to play. I mean, the hardest hurdle is going to be East Walker and Metal Gear 5. Those may be long. Maybe if I just focus on the main story missions, it might not be long. It's kind of hard not to do the side missions in those games because you're building a whole army and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, don't go anywhere, folks. If you do have to go anywhere, grab a snack, take a leak, but come on back. I'll be back in five minutes with some more Metal Gear Solid reaction. And if anybody would like to call in, they post a link there in the chat. And there's the old Discord, and you can just hop on there and you know chat away if you wanted to. Look, I got this cool. Let's show you this the the cool little. Uh, Yes, I got this cool little Kodak screen. So I'm gonna call in and be on the Kodak. We could do video chat. I mean, I haven't tried video chat. I'm curious to see if it will work. But I also got fun pictures. You know, shout out to my little boy Sneaky. Here we go. Nope, didn't show up there. Let's try that again. There you go. Papa Sneak, wherever you are, probably at work. Cheers to you, brother. The worst going on, right? But you could be a guest on the show. Let me know. I'm always looking for new guests. So if, if you're watching this now and you couldn't chat, that's totally fine, but it, it reached out to me for a future. I'm always looking for a future. I'm, I'm tired of the weirdos that keep calling in. There's a lot of weirdos that keep calling in, folks. A lot of weirdos. Anyway, I'll be back at five. I only get to play my commercials. I have not. I, I watch these commercials. I, I do so much hard work for this show. Anything about his past. Who he is, where he lives, or what he does for a living. He doesn't even know what sort of beer he likes. Ah, oh, Mr. Bourne. The usual? <laughs> C. 
see the Bourne identity at a theater near you. What? Oh, yeah. Oh, I feel great. Larry, I'm quitting the company and starting my own. And by the way, I feel great. Oof. Steve, you're a great guy with great skills. You're going to do great. What the hell? I'm coming with you. Oof. Hey! You're hot and I feel great. Let's get married. All right, but I want lots of kids. Me too. 500 of them. Yeah. Babies everywhere. Hey, what's up? Me. I'm up and I feel great. You feel great? Yeah, really great. Go ahead and hit me. Ooh. <laughs> you do feel great. I just shattered my hand. <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> Get Cooper on the phone right now. Steve, this is Bill. He owns this place, and he's got more money than God. I'm filthy rich. I'm always tan, and I got a great ass, too. But my marriage sucks, so I hate my life. Bill, I'm Steve. I'm marrying a girl just because of her looks, and we're rushing right into making babies. Steve! I got no income because I just quit my job, and I don't care because I feel great. In the world of a professional assassin, there is no place for compassion, no room for hesitation. There is only the target, and no one escapes the hitman. Hitman Contracts, in stores April 21st. Rated M for Mature. I got an anonymous report about a superior human. The barcode on your neck, Max. I know who you are, and I know who you're running from, running from, running from. You and the best I ever did. Go away! I've got people looking to kill me. Attention, if you or a loved one was diagnosed with mesothelioma, you may be entitled to financial compensation. Mesothelioma is a rare cancer. Exposure. Exposure to asbestos in the Navy, shipyards, mills, heating, construction, or the automotive industries may have put you at risk. Please don't wait. Call 1-800-99-LAW-US. For a free legal consultation and financial information packet, mesothelioma patients call now. 1 800 99 Law USA. Do you know how to use one of these? GoldenEye, load a rumble pack and see how it feels when 007 meets M64. It's amazing. Watch how OxyClean unleashes the power of oxygen, making tough stains disappear like magic without fading or bleeding the colors. For pet messes, OxyClean is a must. It goes deep down below the surface to get rid of the stain and the odor. Have you ever spilled chlorine bleach on your colored clothes? Well, OxyClean is tough on stains without the damaging effects of chlorine bleach. If you save one pair of jeans, then OxyClean has paid for itself. Some clothes say no chlorine bleach, but OxyClean safely removes the stain, even on baby's clothes. It's the stain remover for the things that you love. Add a scoop of OxyClean to every load of laundry. It'll boost the stain removing power of your detergent. Don't just clean it, OxyClean it. You are the wind that moves through the air unseen. You are the darkness that goes unnoticed in the night. You are the lightning that strikes unannounced. You are the ninja, Rikimaru. You are the ninja who kills by stealth. You are the ninja.
ninja who cannot be stopped. Sure, the ninja needs to sneak up on some of that dog poop in the backyard. Tenshu stealth assassins live by honor, killed by stealth. Welcome back to the last respawn show, folks. I like those commercials. I got to see them. Didn't see them last time because uh, Enter said my internet said goodbye. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm trying here on this deserted island. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm really. <clears throat> Do we have sound music here? No, that's not sound music. What about this? I got, I got fucking no sad music. <laughs> and I added sad music, buddy. That's what I gotta fucking add. What are we doing? We're playing some more Metal Gear Solid 3. After this... Actually, no. I got a little I got a little gameplay. I got a cutscene. And then we got gameplay for a while. I'm gonna give us some more gameplay. How, how much cutscenes are in the beginning of this game. I don't mind. I love the storyline. This story, quite a banger, folks. You're gonna, you're gonna wanna definitely pay attention to everything that's going on. All right. Um, got nothing else. Well, for the do, camera angle like fucked up. I feel like I'm in a weird angle. I'm just like, oh, maybe I gotta adjust shit. I feel like I'm left, right. I don't know. Oh, let's just play some. All right. Uh, my shit. Can't equip anymore. Man, you better give me that fucking AK. We fight people. Uh, let's say the grenades for a boss fight or some shit. Protective. Cardboard, eighth minute. Any bug juice? Fuck, we go. Breach in the room right now. <clears throat> I shouldn't rock that, uh, yeah. Sound like Alsla, is that just me? Alright, he died. Ow! Oh. What the fuck, dude? Ah, damn. All right. All right. All right. I got to burn. No worries. You could take, take that uh, to ointment. I don't think. Oh, we got a cutscene. All right. We got a little. I forgot to do this. We got a little cutscene here. All right. I didn't do that. Ointment. I rubbed the ointment on the burn snake. Here you go. And uh, manage that up. It is new. We we get the gist. Got life medicine. I forgot. 
much of a life. Um, can I take sub? I'm taking subtitles off unless somebody wants me to keep the captions on. I'm personally not a fan of captions. Unless I'm watching a foreign film. I love that I saw the dude up the ladder and my my. Could I, could I have stopped going up the ladder? Fuck. They killed my cardboard box. No, I could not stop going up that ladder. Seven more dudes. I can get them with a stun grenade. Let's Grenades at me, bro. I'll, I'll throw fuck grenades at you too. Where can be? Love it. All those. What? I took out two? Oh, I actually took out three. All right. Just a cardboard box, don't worry about me. Hmm? Don't wanna grab me. <laughs> Fuck that motherfucker. <laughs> night, night. So I don't know what that. I have no idea what happened to that man's body. He had an exorcism. more to go it's almost like a little mini boss battle huh right uh. you're wondering why I'm not killing people well there's a good reason for that uh, one of the boss battles in this game namely the sorrow uh, it becomes harder depending on how many people you've killed in the game because yes <laughs> deal with their ghosts so that's the whole thing so I'm trying not to make that boss battle harder I've always personally not tried to kill people in mini games it's just pretty funny that you have the option to not kill. Love that. You could literally play this whole game without killing a single person. You can even trank the bosses and they just explode. Not, not your fault. Maybe so, maybe they have C4 when they fail their mission. I don't know. Okay, but seriously, where the fuck is this?
Bravo. Where are you, last person enemies? Where are you? I love this game, bro. So fucking well designed. Imagine if, Meta if Hideo Kojima someday in the future made another Metal Gear. I feel like he has to one day. What do you think? Come on, go to sleep. Come on, go to sleep. There you go. And die. I was dead there for a second. Didn't I see some? There we go. I feel like there's a cutscene. What you got there, buddy? Drop girls. Sir. See what you got. Uh, oh, no AK bullets. Forgot I had an AK. I have a shotgun too. Fashion. Those aren't great to eat, but when it went. Take that. Huh. Oh, this is a pretty great cutscene. I've been waiting for this moment. That's it. That's the stance. I don't think so. What? A female spy? This bitch is wearing perfume. Stay where you are. I've had enough of your judo. I see you've got yourself a single action army. That's right. There'll be no accidents this time. You call that an accident? Well, it wouldn't have happened if you hadn't been showing off. What did you say? It's a nice gun. I'll give you that. But the engraving gives you no tactical advantage whatsoever. Unless you were planning to auction it off as a collector's item. And you're forgetting one more very Welcome basic back, thing. Dr. Bear. How was your sandwich? You don't have what it takes to kill me. Oh! Shots fired, bro. We'll see. Whoopsies. Fatality. <laughs> Six shots. The Makarov carries eight. 
You have to get a feel for how many you have left. This is a high-class weapon. It's not meant for shooting people. Damn! There you go. This isn't over yet. Don't. Why? He's still young. You'll regret stopping me. Damn it! I've got to get back before he does. Yeah, that's how physics work. Yeah, sure. <laughs> that's how... Yeah, that's sure. That's a thing. Fucking Christ. Love this game. I love how... On my, on, on my OBS here, I still label this scene as the bar scene. It is no longer the bar scene. Remember that, remember that Dr. Bear, when it was just the bar scene? Now, every time you tune in, you don't know what you're going to find. I'm really scared if you get that fucking car. <laughs> like, what you're gonna make me put on this background? <laughs> as long as it's not, uh, you know, offensive and nudity, uh, you know. Maybe if you find that thin line. So, you know, I could go the way she went, or I'm gonna go back to the old levels and see if there's any items I can find, because it might be something. I think there is. Um, let's save. Do you want to save? Bitch. <laughs> the fuck you think I'm calling you for? A movie review? I mean, she's still gonna give me a movie review. What's she gonna fucking do right now? Snake, have you heard of It Came From Outer Space? Yeah, you told me already. So this astronomer sees a meteor. She's still but it's really talk. an alien spaceship, right? And the aliens start replacing the townspeople with clones and forcing them to help repair the ship. The 3D effects were quite realistic. The 3D I got all effects. The real I can handle here in the jungle. No, you don't get it. Precisely because it's realistic, with the images jumping out of the screen at you, it makes for a nice escape from reality. I have to admit, it made my eyes tired, but it was really intense. Unfortunately, they don't make very many of those movies anymore. When did it come out? I was still in college, so probably about ten years ago. Guess I'm out of luck then. You know, they're coming out with household versions of video cassette recorders. One day you'll be able to see old movies anytime you want. It'll be like having a movie theater in your own home. Really? It's like if you had a record with movie film etched onto it instead of music. It'll work the same way. You're kidding. No, really. And someday they might make movies where you control the characters yourself. Sounds like magic. It'll happen. Make sure you stay alive to see it, Snake. I mean, he kind of does. Yeah, he does. When was this set? 1969, this game? Like, Cold War, 60s, 70s? God, it's so bad with history. So much, we, we, we really lived through so much, me, me and you, or whatever the fuck our generation's called. Do I really want to go back the way I came for what? It might not be nothing. My, my equipment is pretty good, to be honest. Uh, let me get my bug juice. Make sure I got my bug juice. Granada. Uh, smoke grenade. Friction. Snakey boy, you gotta try your shell. Okay, damn, she. Oh, let's try a snake. Snake eats a snake. Mmm. Mmm. He makes it sound delicious.
Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna keep moving on. I feel like there's some. You know what? I'm going back. I don't give a fuck. We're going back. We 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 gotta we gotta get everything in this game. Cause I got a feeling that this might be the last time I play this game for a while. That does sound morbid. <laughs> it's a little morbid there. What do you mean? Hey, you wanna see a cool trick? Let me see if I can nail this. Boom! Nope. Uh, <laughs> fuck! I hate when it does that. It scares the living shit out of me. <laughs> Still gonna keep doing that, huh? Oh shit, there's another guy? Oh. Nothing, go to sleep, man. Holy fuck, can I get across this bridge without falling off 50 fucking times? Holy fuck. Yo, my man Snake got the worst luck with this bridge, I'll tell you right now. Oh, we got the MVP fucking weapon for this game. Fucking chat grenade? Yeah. Knock out their fucking radios. They also could kind of shoot their radios, but... With my luck, it's never like 100%. I end up shooting the, the guard. Everybody watching this is like, why are you going? You're going the wrong way, you know? I'm like, dude, 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 I'm, I'm just checking for things. Alright? Make sure I get all the items. That way, Dr. Bray, do you have a favorite. favorite yeah. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Fuck tonight. Do you have a favorite Metal Gear Solid game? Even care about the franchise. You wake up and say, mm. Metal Gear Solid. I did meet Hiro Kojima once. I ironically met him at a. Uh, he released a line of clothing, I think. What was that? Uh, Uniglo? They opened a new Uniglo store in Fifth Ave and they had like Metal Gear Solid shirts. I bought some shirts and autographs and it's him and the the artist of uh, the Metal Gear oh shit I got bl bloody I got a uh... shit I got muddy footprints a fucking muddy footprints. What am I gonna do with these muddy footprints? That shit too far. Let's take you to uh take you over here. I remember in the online uh god the online mode to this game was so much fun. I wasn't a fan of 
Because I know they, they brought the online mode to Metal Gear 4, and I don't know. It was alright. But it wasn't as fun as this. This was just like... I think it was their first attempt at Metal Gear Online. And it was just like, they threw everything they could. And it was just... They kept the ridiculous movement of the game. To it. Like that snake first everybody mode was so much fun. But even the team combat, just like the combat in the game was just great. Update that camouflage, sneaky boy. Oh yeah, she gave me the scientist on. I'll go tree bark. I feel like a tree bark is a better... Chinlinger. Yeah, fuck this shit. I ain't got time for fucking reindeer games, bro. Damn. In your fucking face. Yes, in here. Okay. We're going all the way back. I'm, I'm gonna get. We're gonna go back. Fun fact about this game, when you <clears throat> when you save and shut it off, you, you, it's like you going to sleep. But if you don't play for a while, all the food that isn't like alive will go bad. Is that fucking amazing. That is such a weird detail. It's just most Hideo Kojima kind of thing, you know? I throw a grenade into one of these guys. Watch me go through all this shit, and there's like no item. If I could time this, you could throw the grenade into the. Alligator's mouth. Really? Oh yeah. Oh wait, you coming at me, bro? You coming at me? What? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Come on, Mr. Crocodile Alligator. I don't know what you are. Right in. There we go. <laughs> so stupid. Why is that a thing, man? Fucking ugh. Love this game, bro. This is on my top 10. I, s I know I say this shit every season, almost every episode, that I'm going to make a top 10 list of all my games and shows and like update it throughout the years, and I still haven't done that. I don't know if anyone's done that. That's like a fucking idea, and I'm just throwing it out there for free. All right, so we were back at the area where you first started, and the first... Mission. The second mission in the same area. Eh? Was it worth going back here? We're about to find out. Shit, we got a goat. Let's we'll stab this goat, bro. Yo, goat. Sorry, goat. I had to stab you, bro. Got some mancor. Alright, what we got here? Need. Sun grenade. Mushrooms, I don't know what that does, but we'll take it. Right. Uh, I'm gonna trank one of these snakes. Come on, snake, there you go. We'll take the little snake there. That half grenades for one,
<laughs> All right, guess it was not worth going back to the first area of the game. Never mind that, I guess. I'll throw that at somebody. Got the grenade. Uh, I don't need the grenade. Gun grenade. Yeah, I just want that. Someone wants to eat a food. Let's uh try the Indian guy. Let's try. Not too bad. I said it wasn't too bad. That's all right. All right, snakes seem to like it. I don't know what that is, but I'm gonna take it. I right, got some health items. Hey, let's let's call somebody. Let's call somebody. Should I call somebody? Let's call somebody. I called the boss more in the first one. That's a missed opportunity there. <clears throat> I'm all like, oh, you no. can't report the game. You're snake, aren't you? And your second? None other. I heard that you're an expert on weapons, equipment, and cutting edge technology. Close. Huh? I am the expert on weapons, equipment, and cutting edge technology. <clears throat> this dude. Uh, I'm the guy that designed your trank gun, active sonar, and motion detector. If you want to know anything about weapons or equipment you find in the field, just send me a message and ask. Later. Okay. I see you've caught a king cobra. The king cobra is the world's largest venomous snake. Its large size means that it has a lot of venom to inject. One bite is supposedly enough to kill an elephant. And it's extremely vicious as well, so watch out. If you get bitten by a king cobra and injected with venom, your life will start to decrease rapidly. As soon as you're bitten, go into the survival viewer and use Cure to give yourself a serum injection. The king cobra's diet consists mostly of other snakes. Be careful, or you might end up as its next meal. <laughs> So... What? How does it taste? Yep. Ugh. It seems you're the one whose diet consists of other snakes. You're making me blush. The guide says they taste just fine. Those make crocodiles. Anything in there or not? No. Alright, so it totally wasn't worth going all the way back here. Duly noted for future gameplay sessions, should they ever be. Like, how far can that guy see him? I'm kind of curious. He's there. We got it. He's there. Beautiful for years. Good old buddy can sh What the fuck? Squares? You say so, game. Desert tag, activate desert tag. We'll go to uh, I'm seeing things. 
But are you just seeing things? Don't worry. At least they crawls really fast. Definitely lives up to his name. Well, now I got the gun, so this bridge part shouldn't be too. We'll see. Radio one four four point two five. One four four point two five. <laughs> one four four uh point two five. All right. Is is this fucking KK Slider from Animal Crossing over here? What's going on? Is that right? I probably shouldn't kill this guy then. Healing radio. Oh. Uh, speak. Do it. Oh, buddy. Right. Go across this bridge nice and slow. So we don't fall off the fucking bridge. Fuck out of here. You gotta be quick, folks. You gotta be quicker. Shit, I hope enemies didn't respawn in this area.
think we good. My bug juice. Oh, I remember this part. It's kind of really beautiful looking. They just give you like this big ass area right here. Like this is the OG camera. How you? I originally played the game with this camera. Like, ah. it is a struggle. Look at that. This was a PS2 game, folks. This shit looks so fucking good. Right, I think I'm gonna put my bug juice. Get those leashes. Snakey boars going for a swim. Ah. Leeches away. Can you stab down here? I can shoot. Shot the fish. The AK. Oh, 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 oh! Charles Xavier. <laughs> <laughs> Charles <Snake>. Xavier. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, you still want to play them after a fucking alligator just killed that here? I was like, oh, did not know they could do that. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if you heard me, but uh, I was asking you which of these games is your favorite. Because obviously, this is my favorite. Can't even make that a trivia question. Dude. Fucking alligator just ate the shit out of my ass. Ate my ass. Yeah. <sighs> Fucking classic, man. Like I was just reminiscing about like the online mode, how much fun we had with the online mode and subsistence. Ugh. Who disc? Can I get the knife? Oh my shit. I've never played one. That nah. Yeah man, these games are classic. This shit still this shit they don't need to remake this shit. This shit still looks good. That's just how good the art style was for PS2. Oh shit. I, I love the Doc Doc Awkward just came in here. Everybody give a warm hand of applause here for uh Doc Awkward. Why? Wait, what? Why is my clappy thing there? What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh, that is my clappy thing there. Where, where? Why is it there? What the fuck? Oh, alright. Oh, Jesus. That's sweet, sweet. Jesus. Why is that there? What the fuck? And it's tiny. Are you gonna let me... Do I even bother trying to adjust this right now? It's probably gonna crash the whole fucking system. Oh, it won't even let me move that right now. Oh, come on. 
Come on. You can move. Alright, you know what? That's cool. Stay there for some fucking reason. Claps, 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 claps forever. I don't know why that's there. That's pretty weird. Oh, I gotta talk like the good Lord. We're playing the Metal Gear. Hopefully, the Lord will protect me as I traverse this swampy, swampy. Oh, fudge. Lord, protect me from the alligator. Lord, you need to protect me from the alligators now. I need to swim at first person, my good Lord. Oh, oh, I got a leech on me. I heard a sh I heard the succubus put his damn lips on my flesh. Will the Lord grant my students? <laughs> I, I will. I will try my best, Doc Awkward. I will praise to the Christmas. I can see a cutscene. Cool. Alright, we don't need to see all that. We don't need to see that. We just know that the snake has taken care of himself. Doc Awkward needs a confirmation of enrollment by August, please. Lordy Lord, listen to me. Listen to me now. You need to grant Doc Awkward uh, this enrollment. You need to bless him. Bless him good. Bless him long. Bless him all night and every day and every wherever <laughs> we go now. This is weird. That's stun grenade. Can I climb up there? No, I gotta, I gotta do some crazy shit here. Oh, you, you devil, you demons, you will not lay your hands on me, you demons. You already ate my hash. You're not gonna eat my hash again. <laughs> Ain't nothing down here, snake. We need to swim. We're gonna lose the H2O's. Oh, go to sleep, sweet Doc Awkward. You need that at least six hours. The Lord that told me you need six hours of sleep. Look how amazing. Gaze your eyes at the reflective surface of the water. This was a PS2 game, folks. This is why I have such high standards for things. I played complete masterpieces. This is a 10 out of 10 in my book, my friends. 10 out of 10. My boy Snake, he needs some food. We're going to get some food. Let's, uh, let's try, uh, ooh, let's try a goat. Let's try the goat. Pretty tasty. Oh, it looks like the goat was worth it. Well, you have a good night, Doc Awkward. Appreciate you coming by. Oh, I got a phone call. Snake, are you there? Eva? Did you miss me? Did you make it without any trouble? No one saw me. So you're back with Volgan? In a matter of speaking. What about the boss? Yeah, she's here too. Better be careful. Thanks, I will. The boss and I get along pretty well, though. I guess we traitors have a lot in common. Why would anyone oh. want to defect? Betraying your country like that, I, I just don't get it. Are you talking about the boss? Why'd you do it? Weren't you born and raised in America? Yes, in a small rural town. I never even knew there were other countries, other cultures, other ways of thinking. Until I went to work for the NSA. And one day, I found I'd lost faith in the things I'd been taking for granted. What did you see? What was it that made you want to change sides? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Try me. I saw the universe. The universe? Not the actual universe. The universe as the intelligence community sees it. I realized that the gravity in this universe was holding me back. That's all. People and countries are both changed by their environment. And by the times. That sounds like what the boss was saying. There's a world of difference between this country and America. 
but it's only a difference of position, a difference of perspective. Coming here made me realize something. Half of what I'd been told was a complete and utter lie. The other half was a conveniently constructed lie. Where's the truth, then? It's hidden in the lies. Are you lying, too? Who knows? I've been trained to make even the most severe falsehood sound like the honest truth. Weren't you? No. I believe... You stay away from that shocker by Schneider. Even if it is a lie, that's part of my mission. I'll have to remember that. If you need me, give me a call on the radio. My frequency is 142.52. See ya. Oh, Snake, you must stay away from that devil woman. She's no good, I tell you, Snake. I tell you, she is no good for you. The Lord has told me you must stay away. Alright, we must use our abilities of climbing to traverse this. So, Snake, I will, I will say a prayer for you, Snake. I will say a prayer. Here we go, Snake. You can do this. I believe in you. Oh, Lordy Lord, protect my soldier snake as he climbs across the waters of the evil hell, Satan. Oh, well, hello. We have a new viewer. I don't know why my clappy thing is so small. But welcome to the show, Zarkan Tarkan. Welcome, welcome to the Lace Free Show. I'm your host, Danny Danny. <laughs> <laughs> Say hello to my good friend Dr. Berger. He's a fellow pastor who is also here. We are in the Church of Snake. All we do is eat snake. No, we don't eat. Do we eat snakes? I I can't remember, Dr. Berger. What 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 do we do at our church again? <laughs> what do we do? What are we doing? What are we doing? Come on. Oh, protect my boy. He's gonna make it. Come on, snake. There you go. I think that's good enough. There we go. A little more. There we go. We eat the snakes. Oh, it was worth it. Oh, it was worth it, folks. It was worth it. We've got the crop cap. We got the crop cap, folks. We are now... In the church of the crocodile. There's too much things going on here. Oh, we are now in the church of the crocodile. We've got the crocodile. <laughs> oh, this fucking game. Now the other crocodiles should not attack me, right? But they may try to mate with me, I don't know. I want to watch out for these booby traps. These vile demons are trying to entrap Marble Boy. Ooh! I wasn't, I wasn't sure if I could do that. This shit was shit just laying around <laughs> on a fucking hill. <laughs> just on a hill. Oh, yeah, you gotta... Oh, there you go, that's the thing. Gotta be careful now. Let's be careful for the mines. I like those mines here. Oh, be careful, snake. There is vile evil afoot here. You must crawl under. Crawl under there. Oh. Oh. Uh, my, my mind detector is going off. But here's a pro tip, folks. You can crawl over the claymores. And the Lord will provide. There you go. Now I got a clay model. There's another clay. Holy but Jesus. There are so many fucking clay models. I don't think we need to heed the beeping sound 50 fucking times. There are so many clay models. The hell do we get across this goddamn fence? Oh, there's a hole right there. And there's a, two dogs. We got two fucking dogs. Don't worry, folks. Oh, we could climb across that. We might have to go over there. May have to put the dog to sleep. 
but like real sleep, not not the deaf sleep. Not want to hurt these pure these creatures. They are they are creatures of the law. Oh, that should end it. I'm still doing it. <laughs> that shouldn't even give me a sign. What is up with my fucking program tonight? Did, did the Zarkanes kind of leave? They're like, oh, this is too fucking weird. <laughs> too much shit going on here. I don't know. I just wanted to watch someone play Metal Gear 3. I didn't, I didn't want to get in all this. Alright. Alright, stay over there, good doggy. We'll just keep on moving this way. Should be alright. On my AV sensor. I'm just gonna keep crawling, cause uh, I don't feel like getting attacked by dogs right now, you know? Just gonna keep on crawling. Probably gonna probably wanna change my camera because I'm in Poo Poo Town now. Seems like the woodland thing works. Uh, we got a 45 camo degree here. This guy's awfully smoking meth. <laughs> I'm actually not on the elbow tonight. Took like two edibles the past two nights. I was like, you gotta take a break, Danny. It can be too high and staying up to God knows what time and watching old fucking videos and tra transporting yourself in old, old time of times, you know? You can't, you can't do that. Why am I crawling? There's nobody around here. Shit is, oh, no, there. See the camel in the system. Camel, this oh, we could claw across that thing. Oh, and by the way, Dr. Bear, I don't know if you caught in my intro, but I do plan to play SOCOM, I may have access to it. Oh, I'll say I'll leave that on that You know what I might add it to my whatever you want on the pole. Oh you fucking piece of shit snake You fucking piece. Of no, don't fucking take a knee I'm up there Is there a better camo for this because whatever whatever you really oh Yeah, oh yeah I've been debating, should I do a SOCOM night, or should I just randomly put it on the pole? I gotta, I gotta put games for for Wednesday. That is Scythe Filter. We playing some Scythe Filter. I don't know if you ever were a fan of the Scythe Filter franchise, but uh... Go down memory lane for Scythe Filter. Yeah, I see the guy, I don't... I don't know how much this is going to work. Oh, alright. We are in SOCOM US Navy SEALs. I have uh, this game as well. And two other surprises. Ooh, we got Uniform Splinter. Imagine the uniform is just a camouflage of Master Splinter. From Ninja Turtles, that would be amazing. There's also that new Ninja Turtles game. It's supposed to come out in the summer. They haven't given an official date. Uh, so got a new Ninja Turtles game eventually coming out. They got that collection too. You couldn't see me from that far. Shut the fuck up. Holy fuck! There's two assholes. Oh, I could shoot the fence here, I think. I think you could shoot the fence. I'm gonna try. Here we go. <laughs> Fuck your fence. Apparently, I can't go across it here. Never play all oh, inside the filters. Yeah. You're gonna have fun with sight the filter. That game, uh, yeah. I put my screen too big. Why? I don't know why. Like, this shit sometimes. 
like you change one little thing in this whole spectrum of stuff and it's like a domino fucker is coming at me bro i'm about to throw a snake at him Who's that? ah shit did not realize uh I not realize that was oh Didn't wanna fucking murk people bro I just killed how many fucking people and a dog Shh I gotta go Oh doggies Fuck off doggies uh, I went to the base on high alert. Ah! Uh... Oh no! Get down, snake! Snake, get the fuck down! Yeah, what the fuck happened? Shit just escalated really fast. Yeah, I'm gonna save here. Yeah, I'm gonna just save here. Just fucking murked her. I just came out with the AK. <laughs> just fucking murked her. You want to save? Yes, motherfucker. I don't want to save. What, 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 what is this? What is going on? Save hey, hey, my damn shit. Save it. Hey, Snake. Have you ever seen Forbidden Planet? No. No. Stop. Stop with your fucking movies. Ain't Joe Bob over here. This girl. This lady. What the fuck? Alright. So there's, there's clapping there. Uh, oh, that confused me. There was like double clapping. <laughs> Alrighty then. There we go. Alright, folks. Glad I got to finally do it for an episode, kind of. I mean, we had to disconnect. I don't know what that was about, but I'm going to check under the hood. I am on a desert island, so give me a break. I'm trying to survive out here. Trying not to get attacked by real fucking snakes. Popping it off, folks. But uh, I'll be live Wednesday night for whatever you want special. Socom's on there, Metal Gear Solid 3, and maybe two other surprises. So check on my Twitter tomorrow for the poll and vote, vote. Boat. And if you can't make it a Wednesday night show, I'll be live Saturday night with a Scython Filter expose. We are playing nothing but Scython Filter games. Starting with the classic Scython Filter for the PlayStation 1. Uh, I can't wait for Dr. Bear to see that you can literally tase a man to death so he explodes into flames. It is, it is a amazing. Good one. Anyway, shout out to you, Dr. Bear. Cock awkward. Uh, is Arcane turning? I don't know if you hung around or, or got scared. If you're still there, hit that follow. Because this is the Outer Beach Heaven season. I am playing nothing but Metal Gear Solid games and also other stealth games, viral games, maybe even beach games. Maybe we should throw beach games in there, you know? What do you think? What do you think, Dr. Bear? Should we have some beach themed games too? Should we. Do we pop off with Super Mario fucking sunshine? <laughs> I don't know. Let me know in the chat. Uh, I gotta, let me get my, my I, gotta, I gotta pinch a tent here. Hold up. All right, folks. Yeah, right there. Can, can you see the floor? Can, can you fucking see the floor? I can't see shit. There we go. <sighs> can't see shit. <laughs> All right, folks. I gotta. I gotta go in my cardboard box here and go to sleep. So. <laughs> Thank you for watching the last respawn show. Hopefully, I don't get murdered on this beach here. Uh, I move back here. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. <laughs>
<laughs> just down here in the fucking. I gotta, I gotta crawl in my combo box here, all right? Hey, Dr. Bear, get the lights. <laughs> Uh, thanks for watching. Enjoy this outro. I made new a new brand new spanky outro for the show, and expect a new outro every 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 night maybe. I don't know. Hey, Danny, this has been the last respawn show. Wish me luck. I don't get eaten by fucking snakes tonight. All right. Have a good night, Doctor Bear. Appreciate you all, Doc Ock. Where the fuck is my arrow? Where is my arrow? <laughs> this is such a mess right now. All right. Have a good night, folks. I'm going to my combo box. Goodbye. Ah, uh, fucking shit. This is KCET Los Angeles. Community supported television for Southern and Central California, ending another broadcast day. Our programming reflects a rich variety of local interests and features outstanding cultural, educational, and public affairs programs from PBS, the Public Broadcasting Service, independent producers, and educational institutions. Our continued success depends on viewer support. If you would like to become a KCET subscriber and receive our monthly program guide, send $30 or more to KCET, Post Office Box 19593, Irvine, California 92713. Tune in tomorrow for another day filled with outstanding programs here on KCET Los Angeles. Art, good, filling. Has a nice taste to it. <laughs> Not a today's. Uh... Oh, yeah. And if he says it's filling, you know it's filling. Believe me, he ain't lying. This guy doesn't joke around about his food. Oh, no. He is dead serious. Uh, and I'm sure it tastes delicious. It certainly smells fantastic. You've got to be good to your body, you know? Loyal to your body. People you're cooking for. The whole family. <laughs> oh, yes. To the whole family. Or, if you have a significant other that you want to impress, ladies, are you paying attention? You know what they say about a man's stomach. Well, better yet, why don't you just put down those papers and pencils, and I want you to follow along with us. It looks like it's ready. Oh, I can't wait another minute. Mmm. Mmm. Tasty. Yeah. Made it for my wife last night. Oh, and did she love it? She was mad because I hadn't made it for her sooner. She was mad? How could you get mad about food? Women, right? Sure. <laughs>